Chapter 2 Sleepy Head Jack opened his eyes. Glaring hot sunlight flooded into the treehouse. Neat hats, said Annie. She and Jack were both wearing hats. I think they will protect us from the sun, said Jack. He and Annie looked out the window. Teddy looked out too. The treehouse had landed in a scrubby forest filled with droopy plants and dry brown trees. Man, this place needs rain, said Jack. He sat back on his heels and looked at the picture of where they had landed in the Australia book. He read, Australia's forests go through droughts, times of drought. A drought is a long period of time without any rain. The rainforest can be flooded by heavy rains at other times of the year. Jack pulled out his notebook and wrote, Drought equals no rain. Hey, Jack, said Annie. Doesn't it smell like a cookout? Jack sniffed the air. It did smell like a cookout. Jack looked out the window. A wisp of smoke floated above some trees in the distance. Maybe people are camping over there, Jack said. Let's go see, said Annie. Jack put his notebook and the Australia book into his backpack. Put Teddy in there too, said Annie. Jack slipped the little dog into the pack. Then he followed Annie down the ladder. When they stepped onto the ground, the hot wind nearly blew their hats off. The campers must be over there, said Annie. She pointed at the smoke in the blue sky. They started walking across the sun-baked clearing. They passed bushes and scrawny trees. Lizards ran over the dry, cracked ground. Arf! Arf! Teddy barked from Jack's pack. Whoa! said Jack. A pair of huge, funny-looking birds walked out from behind a bush. They were taller than Jack. They had fat bodies, long skinny legs, and long skinny necks. Who are you? Annie asked the strange pair. Jack opened his pack and took out the Australia book. He found a picture of the birds. They're emus, he said. He read aloud, The emu is a large bird that doesn't fly. It can run as fast as 30 miles per hour. Wow, that's fast, said Annie. Teddy jumped out of Jack's backpack and barked at the strange birds. The emus gave the little dog a haughty look. Then they turned and walked proudly away. Jack wrote in his notebook, Emus, proud birds, don't fly. Look, a live teddy bear, said Annie. Jack looked up. Annie ran to a tree at the edge of the clearing. The live teddy bear was nestled in the fork of the tree. Ah, it's so cute whispered Annie. The creature was fast asleep. He had large round ears, a black nose, and a furry body. His feet had long curved claws. It's a koala bear, said Jack. Hi, sleepyhead, Annie said to the koala. She patted his soft fur. He opened his big eyes and looked calmly at her. Jack found a koala picture in the Australia book. He read, the koala is actually not a bear at all. It's a marsupial, like a kangaroo. A marsupial mother carries her babies in a stomach pouch. That's neat, said Annie. Jack kept reading. Koalas mostly eat the leaves of gum trees, so cutting down gum trees to clear land has hurt them. Wildfi wildfires are also a threat. Koalas are slow-moving and can't escape the smoke and flames. Jack pulled out his notebook and wrote, Wildfires are a threat to koalas. What's wrong, sleepyhead? Annie asked the koala. Don't you feel well? Don't worry, said Jack. Listen to this. He read more from the book. Koalas, like kangaroos, are active at night and sleep during the day when the sun is hot. The name koala means no drink because koalas rarely drink water. They get moisture from the leaves they eat. Jack licked his lips. His mouth felt dry. Speaking of water, he said, I'm thirsty. Me too, said Annie. Teddy was panting as if he was thirsty also. Let's find those campers, said Jack, sighing. Maybe they can give us some water. Jack put Teddy back into his pack. He tucked the book under his arm in case he needed to look something up. They began walking again. Suddenly, there was a loud, harsh cackle. Yikes, said Annie. What was that, said Jack.